<laughs> All right, this is day three of working on our van. Today we are gonna work on <laughs> floors. We just got back from Home Depot. It's like 9 p.m. on a work night, but it's 10 okay. 10 p.m. on a work night. Here we go. So we have our kill mat on the floor already installed. Um, that was the first step on the floors. We're going to start by taking these um, foam polyiso boards. We cut them down to size to fit into the slats in the van where you can see the kill mat. And we are going to put that down with the foam adhesive. Once the kill mat and the foam board are on the floors, then we are gonna put birch. We have half inch birch plywood sheets. They only had two at Home Depot tonight. There's a huge lumber shortage, such a bummer. But hopefully tomorrow they will have another. We're gonna stop by. Um, and then we got some vinyl flooring to adhere at the very end. So some materials um, that we're going to use. So we came here last night and realized our caulk gun didn't work with our foam adhesive. So it was the wrong size. We had to go start over this morning, get a new caulk gun. We're gonna return that one. And now we are ready to go and start installing our floors. So here we have our Loctite foam board adhesive. We're gonna put it on the bottom of this poly iso board that we cut to the length just in between the ridges. We're going to do it across the whole thing and then we're going to fill in the rest with gaps and cracks. How do we feel that it's 90 degrees in May? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but my shirt is usually this color gray, but it's currently soaking wet. Um, it's, I probably got sunburnt because I didn't put on sunscreen, so tisk tisk. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. All right, we finished laying down the foam poly iso board. See, it lays in between these cracks, as you can see. Um, it took us about probably two hours if you include cutting everything and putting it all down and making sure all of our measurements were correct. I don't know if you can hear from the video, so I'll try to be quiet for a second. There's a subtle hum with some uh, screaming involved and that's all the cicadas. We're in the middle of cicada season. Luckily right here, we don't have too many, but... We'll find you some. We'll find you some. <laughs> all right, so we let our foam adhesive dry a little bit and now we are coming back to do the next step of our floor, which is to put great stuff, gaps and cracks in between um, the foam adhesive. As you can see, we did a little bit of a test earlier to see how much it grows and then we let it dry for eight hours we have four bottles of this right now and we're gonna have to see if we need more there's a severe thunderstorm outside i don't know if you can hear that behind us but um we just lost power those are all our flashlights things are going well <laughs> Instead of working on the van while there's no power at the house, we decided let's just go see who else doesn't have power. We went out around the neighborhood and then we found a power line down in the middle of the road. Of course we reported it, but then Dylan decided, no, we need to find out where it leads to. So we went around the neighborhood to find out exactly where the power line was down. And it's down like all down the street in front of these people's house. So we reported it. Hopefully it gets fixed soon, but we are going to have to retire for the night. <laughs> We're back to work on the van and sealing the floor, getting the materials because the thunderstorm is also back. So today we're going to be filling in all these gaps with the gaps and cracks. To use this, we already used it, started using it because of the, the nozzle is on, but you're supposed to shake it for like 60 seconds vigorously and then uh, screw on this top and then you can just use this trigger to pull when you, where you need to go. All the floors have the foam in and now we just wait for them to dry. 
Okay, so the foam has dried and it's now puffed up above the poly iso board. So the next step is we're going to cut it. So to cut this, we have an oscillating tool. An oscillating tool has a key system like this with these different type of attachments that you can put in. Basically, it just like vibrates back and forth really quickly so that you can just go like this and line it up against the uh, surface and cut through. Safety first, everyone. Two hours later, it's mostly done. They're about even with the poly iso foam board. Now we're just gonna vacuum it before we put the plywood on. After calling 20 Home Depots, a million times and getting hung up on, what did we get? Plywood. Just one piece. The last piece we need. <laughs> all right, so we've got the foam board in, we've got the gaps and cracks in, it's all cut, and now it's time for the plywood. So we laid it down, and now we're going to sketch what we need to cut out. In our van off the lot, we got this mat in our on the floor. Um, it's scratch proof and stuff, it's been great for construction, but the best part is we have our three planks of plywood laid down, and as you can see, it's a perfect template. We made sure it goes up flush on all of these sides, so all the interior parts, so all we have to do is trace it and then cut for all of it. These holes will not be there, they're just for those anchors that, that came in the bottom. We saw a lot of people use cardboard for this step, or like a painter's paper or something. Really, anything that you can draw an outline on is pretty good for cutting your plywood. Um, I think we just lucked out and we're going to get the draw right on it. It's all stenciled out and ready to be cut. They all fit! Yay! <laughs> Now we just have to cut some of the foam and then we're gonna put the foam adhesive on. We are gonna start by caulking the foam board adhesive. We're gonna go this way and move our way to the back. Basically, all you need to do is squeeze it out in kind of like a zigzag formation and just get a lot of it on there. And we have like three bottles to use. And we're going to be going, the first board goes right up to the edge of this wheel well, so we're going to go up there and then put the board on. Now we get to step all over the floor to weigh it down. Alright, the floors are all down and now we're just weighing them down with all the heavy things we have so that they stay flat. Um, we're going to leave them like this overnight and then we will check on the floor tomorrow. Just like we did with the plywood, we also put the floor mat on top of our vinyl sheet. We're gonna draw a template and then cut it out. All right, the template is done and now we're gonna cut out the vinyl. All right, it's time to put our vinyl adhesive on. We're using the felt back sheet vinyl adhesive and a trowel as well as a putty thing. We're putting the putty and then we're slowly rolling back the vinyl sheet. We tested it to make sure it was rolling straight because that would have been a huge problem, and it is. We're using this trowel to smooth it out. All right, the vinyl floor is down, and now we just have to let it dry. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video on installing our floors. Make sure to subscribe if you liked our video and follow along on our van progress. Make sure to comment if you have any questions on what we did.